Hi, bird people. Okay. So there's something huge happening, right, Ryder? So you may have known that I... Oh, why do I always do this when I see myself in the camera? Um, you may have noticed that I had this cape for Ryder. Um, and I wasn't too sure about the whole metal toxicity thing. But um, like I said, I wanted to get everyone the same cage eventually. And it's finally happened. So there's Scampi in his cage, he already knows. That's yesterday's food, so they haven't eaten yet. Uh, oh gosh, i got to check the time because i got to get out of here quite soon. Uh, 8.30, we're good. I've got an hour or so. Um, okay, and once, you know, they're hungry enough, hopefully I'll fill their food bowls up and hopefully they won't be as scared. They'll just be really hungry. So let me here. So I've already done scamps. And I put this woven thing here as a platform to get in and out. I was so nervous about the whole thing because they don't have their door to sit on. They don't have their ladder to get out. Yeah, it's a bit confused, but that's okay. Uh, and this is, there's no string, twine, threads, ropes, anything holding this together. It's completely woven some sort of uh, grass or, or cane, something or other. And I kept... Most of his normal purchase from his old cage, so it's familiar, all the same toys in a similar fashion. Uh, this is a new branch here. Their food bowls are in the same place, and then the veggie bowl goes here. Everything is pretty much the same. And this one's Sita's cage. Okay, so I put her, her sleeping perch up there in the exact same way it normally is. That's fine. Hopefully she'll be okay with that. Sky is a bit nervous about everything because she's so young. She's not used to change. But she's got her little swing in there. Have you had a look, Boo Boo? Do you want to have a look at your cage? Wow. Oh, I'm not catching this, am I? Do you want to come down? No? Okay. Uh, that's fine. So that's Sky's cage. So at the moment, I thought. Oh gosh, this place is ridiculous. Uh, well, I've got one cage left and I'm not too stressed about this whole process. Let's, um, let's see. Shall we watch me do this? Okay, nobody touched the camera. Okay, can you sit up here? So these cages have been assembled and been sitting here for a few days so they can get used to it, jump around, climb around on them. So I don't know what you can see, but I'm going to take out this top perch here and his sleeping perch and they will go into his cage just as it was in this one. Uh, I have been cleaning them off a little bit. I may give that a bit of a scrub. Do you want to, oh, you don't. Sita, do you want to keep them company while I do this? Can they see you up there? Sort of, not really. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. Oh, so I've left, I've left one cage here. And they're all sitting on that. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to set this up the way I had it. Okay. So I'm just cleaning off any little bits and pieces that may have been on this. Uh, usually he's very messy with his perches, but his sleeping perch is quite clean. Quite clean indeed. Right? Yeah. And, uh, and there's fresh nails with banged in for each end here that makes it easy to put in the cage you see that so you just bang a couple of nails in each end um, i do yes i do worry that their toes are going to get caught in there and they'll break a toe but it's one of the easiest and safest methods i can think of i have done you know, stainless steel screws with washers and stuff. And as soon as you want to move them, it's a nightmare. Uh, oh gosh, you know what? I don't remember which way this was sitting in there. Do you? You don't? Okay. Wish I was paying attention. 
Um, I'm assuming it was this way. Right? Yeah? It's not, it's not comfortable to sit up there, is it, Bose? Yeah, it's a bit tricky. And I'm worried that this, if they jimmy it too much, it's going to slide down and they're going to get squashed in there. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this way. Because any poop drops have slid underneath the bowl. So basically, roughly how it was to start with. That's a bit loose. Gonna make that a little bit tied up on my little man. Oh. oh, I don't like that. I don't like scraping the paint. It's not fun at all. That's pretty good. That's not too wobbly. I think that's good. Yes, Impy. Get some of the stuff out of there. The light is really bad from that end because the light shines in this way, and then everything you guys see is just a black blur. Uh, so what I'll do now? These are square. And this one too. Yeah, they're square screws with the square tips. So I'm getting my little screwdriver here and putting on my little, uh, what focus? My little square tip. And I'll take this one off. Oh, Sky doesn't like screwdrivers. I don't blame you, boo boo. Which means I will, so this has a stainless steel screw and a washer holding it on. I may bang a couple of nails into that one. And all of them have been pretty easy so far. Like I get really stressed and a lot of anxiety from repurching a cage because they never fit the way you want them to. Everyone else's cage has gone quite smoothly so far. And uh, what's the bet for riders? Who's going to be difficult? Right, buddy? He's nervous about the whole thing. They're all kind of scared. They kind of know what's going on and they're like, mm, I don't like this. <laughs> And they're not getting angry, they're just quiet and nervous. Okay, so this should come out nicely now. I may have to clean that up a bit. And what are you seeing here? This, you can't see nothing. Okay, shall we put this elsewhere? Okay. That's a little better. So, okay, yeah, that needs a bit of cleaning up as well. But I'll just see how difficult this is going to be to put in here. So, sorry, buddy. And I feel like this. And usually everyone has a swing in that back corner, but because of his sore leg, I don't want him trying to swing and balance and use his leg too much. So he has a flat perch up there. Okay, it's not exactly straight, so this is going to be quite difficult. Oh, oh. Let's, uh, do I need to clean this up a little bit? Yeah, I'll clean it up just a little. Scampy, you keep them busy. Say, so what's your name? What's your name? Scamp. Okay, I should have prepared this a little better for the video, but uh, okay, I'm kind of running out of nails. So I've got this old one here with nails in it. I may have to rip the nails out of that to put in here. 
So let me just. Hmm. Yeah. Because the edges are straight, but because it's going on an angle, it kind of needs angled bits there. Hammer some nails in. Is that the easiest way to set it? Oh, skinheads, no biting. You be gentle. You be gentle. No biting. Use a pincher. Any pinchers? Okay. Watch me break a finger. Ah. This cancer laurel is so soft. <laughs> the bottle brush is hard as a rock and it's so hard to bang nails into. So hard. Okay, so that one's there. Hit one in this end. Oh, that's like butter. Okay, I'll just put one nail in each end just to see if this works and I know where to put the next nail in if I need one. Problem is, if that's the... Is that in the place? Yep. Yeah. If there's sleeping coaches in the back corner there and I've got this underneath it, it's going to get so pooped on. That's pretty good. I like that. And it's still... Once you put a perch in... It bends the bars a bit, so other things might get loosened up. So you've got to check everything once you put a new perch in. I could throw an extra nail in that. Shall we? Just to be safe. Little man. Since I've got one spare. One spare nail. Where do I want this? Ruins everything. I'm screwed. Okay. That really sat nicely. I hope I can get it in the same place again because that was really good. Oh, oh, that's tight. That's tight. That's tight. Beautiful. Now his toys. So, oh, poor little man. He has, he has shredded his pine cone a lot. It would be best to give him a fresh one. I don't think I have any at the moment. There's feathers stuck in there, but uh, that's a piece of junk. Find a nice fresh part. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm not sure what he's looking at. The whole cage? Yeah. Um, I'm not really putting these in the exact same place they were since it's a different size cage. And uh, there's a lot more room in different areas rather than bolting everything into the back corners. We have room. This big space in the middle. So with everyone's cage, I've been putting their, oh goodness, their spiral toy. I've been putting their spiral toy in the middle dangling down. Uh, how clean is this? It's pretty clean. Yeah. Cool. Stretch it out a bit. I mean, what it might be nice to have is like the this in an arch going down here so they can sit on it and climb it and chew at it. But at the moment, I'm just going to leave it as a spiral. It's a bit loose and bouncy and stuff, but... Uh, that's okay for now, I think. That's okay. No good, can't we? Yeah, so that's that one. And then, gosh, they've got a lot of these. And plus a swing made out of the same thing. It's just a lot of the same thing, really. But... Hey, wood is safe. Woods are the safest of toys. 
and the most natural and what they would be chewing in the wild. So that's what I'm going with. I can always add things later, but at the moment, I'm going to keep everything in their cage as similar as possible right now. It looks pretty clean. So this is the ones I made on a video once. Uh, it's just got some hardwood with some rough soft bark on the end. That's fun. Balsa wood, which is really soft, and he's chewed off a lot of that balsa wood. Mahogany pod, that's really soft as well. A bigger chunk of balsa and another rough bark slice of wood. So all different materials for them to chew on. Watch your toes. Add that there. That's pretty much the same as everyone else's. Uh, that. Okay. Bugger. His, uh, his flat perch has been zip tied in with plastic cable ties, which I hate cutting off those zip ties because I have cut myself with a Stanley knife trying to do that once before. I don't know if I have enough zip ties left to add it back. Okay. And just check his food bowls. That's in the same place they were in his old cage. Uh, okay. Whoops. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> This aside, I'm bringing his old cage here so you can see this. And he's a major nest builder. So he's got all this nest thing going on. <laughs> uh, it's a bit messy, so this is going to be nice and tidy for him. I'm um, just grabbing a nice. Leafy branch to add to his new cage, like I have with all the others. I do have another spiral toy he can have rather than the flat perch. Ow! Gampy, stop fighting me. Uh, I think he likes his flat perch to build with, but then again. If the cage isn't as tall, he doesn't need a flat perch up there. He can just build at the bottom of the other cage. So I might leave that out. Leave out that flat perch. Bring this back. Scamp. So pinchy. He's not doing it out of anger. He just, I don't know, doesn't have any strength. Um, one of these are the cages. Let's go for a walk. Okay. So I've lined up all their cages over here, <laughs> all the old cages, boom, 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 this is a nightmare. So these will go to, I guess, people who, who need cages. So he's got this spiral toy here he can have, and I can always put a little perch next to it if I need to, but I don't think I do. Uh, not a spiral, a, a ring, a swing without a... That's pretty clean. That was in Sita's cage. She's never used it. She doesn't do much with her toys. Is that leaf in the way? She never does anything with her toys. <laughs> it's a bit of a shame. Let's see. If I put this here, will we play with it? It's a bit dangly, isn't it? I'll do, I think. Can you reach that? Probably not. That's okay. I think that's good. And this paper roll. Uh, Sky builds her nest with this paper. Uh, so let's put that in his cage too, yeah? Put it in everyone else's. Um, let me see. I'll put it in the back here like everyone else. My scamp. Don't bite me. Oh, sorry, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, give me a uh, What I'm tying this on with is paper twine. It's a paper twine.
fine. Hopefully, if they get tangled in it, they can chew it off themselves, but it's around their neck, there's not much you can do. So it is dangerous, I wouldn't recommend it. If I can find a better way, I will. Maybe some sort of stainless steel hooky things, but that'll do. So there's his cage. Now I can fill them all up with food. Maybe I should put some of his sticks in there so he can build. <laughs> That'll also keep him busy for a while. <laughs> oh, you saw what I'm doing, little man. Yeah. I'm going to put these in the back corner out of your way. And then you can start building. Uh, let's wheel this thing into the bedroom. A 20 minute video so far, great. <laughs> you come and scamp, let's go. Guys, he's coming. Eh, no. He's like, what's going on? Walls were impossible to clean, by the way. <laughs> Just impossible. Oh no, okay. I have to move everything out of the way. Oh, I wish I did a comparison so you could see the width difference, the difference of width <laughs> on all of these. Because they are a lot wider, just shorter for a little rider's legs. The stands weren't exactly for these cages, so I zip tied them on. They still seem to work quite well. All right, everyone's here and ready for this. I think everyone's just hungry, right? Shall I? I don't think I can set this up anyway. Ugh. Can someone hold the camera? No. <sighs> A bit dangerous. Oh, because that whole thing could slide down and crush him in it. <laughs> you excited, little man? Okay. Line these up a little better. Put yours right here. Yeah. I don't want you just stuck in the corner, Bobby. Yeah, you. That one can go there. Uh huh. <laughs> Hi, little buddy. Woo, hold on. These wheels. Okay, so you may have noticed they're all slightly different. I had, I had, how far back can I go here? I had three black cages and one white. And I thought, well, who's going to get the white one? Initially, I thought I want Sita to have it because uh, she's the oldest and she's the queen. But then I thought Sky needs the most help. Uh, recognizing her own cage because everyone else doesn't really care and she gets confused easily. But then what I did was I took the black panels and put it on this white cage. And then I put, as you can see, a white panel on that cage and a white panel on this cage. So now I'm hoping Scamp knows this is his cage. Sita will know that's her cage eventually. Sky. And Ryder gets plain black, right? I see just got the white tray. Okay, so what I'll do now is chop up some veggies and some fruit. Uh, they're on a pellet day today, so pellet and fresh water, clean water. No, they had seeds and vitamin water yesterday. And we'll put them in, see how they go.